shot, right? I'm going to continue to take responsibility for fighting the fight to make this state more affordable. And for who? Not just for the businesses of this state who helped to create jobs and put people to work, but for the middle-class families of this state. You see, they're getting squeezed not only in New Jersey, but across the country. Chris Christie, the New Jersey governor, speaking out against tax hikes last night in Washington during a week where Governor Scott Walker out of Wisconsin was getting a fair share of headlines. Our chief political correspondent, Carl Cameron, is live in Washington on this. And Carl, good morning to you. What more can you tell us? What did he say, Governor Christie, about his position on taxes, et cetera, in his speech last night? Well, New Jersey has some of the highest property taxes in the country, and a lot of conservatives say that one of the things will be a problem for Mr. Christie is explaining how he can be a tax cutter across the country as he's campaigning. He was also himself out on the campaign trail earlier this week, and he got pretty warm receptions in both New Hampshire and in Iowa. But in New Jersey, Governor Christie's favorability has taken a hit in the polls in the last few years. That is not an optimal situation when you're heading out across the country to persuade voters in other states to support you and they hear complaints from your constituents back home. It can really hurt fundraising both at home and around the country. One example of that is GOP mega donor Woody Johnson, the owner of the New York Jets, who of course play at MetLife, the stadium over in Jersey's Meadowlands. Johnson was a big Romney supporter both in 08 and 2012 and has just recently decided to back Jeb Bush, which isn't a slight, but it isn't exactly what Christie was hoping for. Yeah. What about Scott Walker now? He had a meeting yesterday with Donald Trump. He was in New York this past week. What did you learn? Uh, well, Scott Walker's up in New York, uh, not necessarily to poach on, on Christie in that sense, but he was there talking about uh, supply-side economics and economic issues, finances, etc. And he met with Donald Trump. Trump's been talking about running for president every cycle since 1996 himself, and like a lot of Republican candidates over the years, Walker paid him a courtesy call yesterday. Afterward, Trump tweeted, quote, Governor Scott Walker just left my office. We had a really wonderful talk. Very interesting. Walker did meet with other business leaders and economists, including Art Laffer, a major proponent of pro-growth supply-side economics in the Reagan administration, who devised the so-called Laffer curve, named after him. It's a formula for governments to turn to figure out what the sort of lowest possible tax rate would be to maximize government revenue. All of the candidates, and you heard this in that soundbite that you played for Chris Christie at just the beginning, are very public about these meetings with, uh, on the economy, and they're trying to figure out places to... Uh, take their economic policies and fold it into this idea of trying to get the middle class unstuck and uh, closing what both sides call the income and opportunity gap, Bill. Uh, thank you, Carl. More to come on that, right? All of that. Carl Cameron in Washington, D.C.